So, what are you thinking? Is this an action packed video as always? <laughs> action packed videos in which nothing happens. This is my trademark. I just left my place. I want to walk a little bit off the beaten path. We're probably going to see the town center later. You see that chapel on top of the hill? I just uh, want to walk around and see a bit of uh, nature, woods, snow. You know, this part looks more like a village, while the town center looks like where medieval town. I don't know exactly how. <laughs> oh. I mean, this street has no name. Wait, there's a mini market here. Maybe I can get some water. Great. I suppose they're on holiday from yesterday until 6 February. That's amazing. No water for me. Yeah, that's gonna suck. I wanted to, to bring a bottle of water with me, but I said no. I'm gonna buy a new one. Sparkling water from the supermarket or mini market or whatever. Well, if I don't find anything else on the way, it's gonna be a trip. Okay, this is definitely not uh, the reason why uh, most of the people come to Chesky Krunlov. But uh, I like the idea that you see, I mean, the village, small town, whatever, exactly how it is. I mean, the city center, it's really beautiful, don't get me wrong, I love it. But it got so popular because it's beautiful so there are hardly any uh, apartment buildings basically all the flats that used to be rented to people you know to live in now there are souvenir shop and uh, I don't know some made-up museums of all kinds and uh, of course bars and restaurants and if not pensions and small hotels because you cannot really make money in the city center just renting the the flat to to some local guys but you can make a lot of money uh i don't know selling cheap souvenirs walking around you see actual people living here you know, these are their houses. That mini market is their is the place where where they buy their groceries, probably. So they're pretty f until <laughs> six February now. I don't know if you can see it. I mean, the GoPro displays so small. I don't see anything there, but in reality, I can see on the central left, whatever. Uh, side of the screen uh, the castle do you see it as well I don't know I can hear some dogs well that's one of the reasons I chose to come here because uh, in the town you cannot find so much snow, it melts, and uh, you know, there are people walking all the time, and cars and everything. Uh, but here, I'm gonna feel like it's winter. I mean, it technically it is winter, but nowadays, and especially in Central Europe, winter doesn't really exist anymore. It's 
It's cool that you can see the town from above. And you can hear some snow under your shoes, so it's worth coming here. People visit Chesky Kronlov just for the castle and city center and they don't check the surroundings at all. That's a shame. There are many other things you can do in, in Kromlov, except for the cobblestone uh, center, which again, don't get me wrong, it's really cool. But uh, if you have more than a couple of hours, just explore a little bit. Another thing I don't really understand is uh, why some people are always on the run and visit everything within hours. I've heard some guy, he's from South Korea, I think. He was traveling a couple of months in Europe. So of course he wanted to see as much as possible, which I understand. But uh, he had like, I think six hours in Czeski Kronov. Then he was going to Hallstatt in Austria. These two places are pretty well connected because a lot of people, when they come in the area, they want to visit both. But uh, I mean, what's the point? You have six hours in Czeski Kronov, take a bus to Hallstatt in Austria and uh, spend one or two hours there and then you try to reach either Salzburg or Vienna so what's the point? why all this rush? I'd rather spend a couple of days in every place of course then you don't visit so many but who cares at least the ones you visit are actually visited you know otherwise what can you possibly see in one or two hours in a place like this okay you go to to the city center uh have a coffee somewhere or a beer take a selfie with a castle see the bears if you're lucky uh and go back home or whatever to the next uh, town I don't like it how do you prefer to travel I remember several times I was booking like four or five days <coughs> or even a week in small places you know like this and people were so surprised like even at the hotel they were asking me wow such a long trip are you here for work like wow really <laughs> So if you don't search for a job, there's no point to <laughs> to, to stay uh, more than one or two days <laughs> in a small place, huh? <clears throat> Hello. Hi. You've probably noticed there are uh, a lot of these uh, shrines on the path so I think it's pretty obvious I have to go this way but I want to go this way as well let's check it out maybe we find something interesting like a wolf or a bear the owner of the pension I'm staying at told me there are no wolves or bears here but uh, you can find some wild pigs the snow is getting thicker okay there's a hole in over here oh, okay let's go back oh, it's so hot and I'm carrying all this useless stuff okay I have a backpack with me with uh, my camera maybe I take some photographs wouldn't be such a bad idea uh, and uh, okay some other camera gear but I also took my tripod why because I'm not gonna use it anyway most likely uh, 
So it's just annoying me now. But okay. That's my mistake now, I have to pay for it. So. Okay, we have some directions here. Hmm. I think left is for the church and right is something with Chesky Krumlov. So I think I'll go left. I've heard some weird noises. Thought maybe it's an animal or something interesting we could film. But it's probably nothing. It was um, a sound similar to a guy shoveling the snow, but I don't see <laughs> why would anyone shovel the snow here. <laughs> anyway, let's just go oh, some more climbing. Okay, I should stop complaining, otherwise I can totally see comments like she goes hiking complains about hiking or <laughs> you know this stupid stuff so i shut up <laughs> so what are you thinking is this an action-packed video as always <laughs> action-packed videos in which nothing happens this is my trademark where is that bottle of water how was I supposed to know that people from mini markets want to take holidays for two weeks Another shrine and another guy with a beautiful dog. Look there. Here's the chapel. And you're not allowed by car or by horse. Don't start a fire and don't throw your bottle of water on the ground. Well, I don't have a bottle of water. Nothing to throw. Some lights. This should be beautiful at night or whatever. Whenever they have some singing session or whatever they. 